What seemed like a temporary inconvenience could soon turn into a life-threatening situation as people scrambled to find ways to preserve food or secure fresh supplies. The transportation systems, which are vital to keep cities running, would also come to a halt. Without power, trains, subways, and buses wouldn't run. Traffic lights would stop working, turning major intersections into chaotic, potentially deadly gridlocks. Drivers would be forced to make their way through a maze of stalled vehicles and confusion. Air travel would be grounded as well, as airports depend on electricity to operate everything from check-in counters to the flight control systems. With the whole world's transportation network shut down, getting goods and people from one place to another would become almost impossible. Communities would start to notice the lack of communication. Without access to the internet or phones, people wouldn't be able to share information or coordinate with others. In larger cities, this could cause significant problems. Residents isolated from loved ones wouldn't know if their families were okay, and first responders would have no way to call for backup or relay crucial information. Those who had been planning to head out of town for vacation, business, or emergencies would find themselves stuck as no forms of travel or transportation were working. Plans and routines that relied on the steady flow of electricity would come to a halt, and life would quickly shift from what we know to a more primitive form of survival. Meanwhile, the simple conveniences that we once took for granted would be gone. No air conditioning on a hot day, no heaters in the middle of winter, and no ability to power essential devices like phones or laptops. People would be forced to rely on other means of communication like handwritten notes, while basic utilities like hot water would be out of reach. Over the next several days, many would struggle to adjust. As temperatures dropped or soared, depending on where you live, staying comfortable would become an increasing challenge. And while this might be uncomfortable for some, it would be far more dangerous for those with medical conditions that require electric-powered equipment, like ventilators. People who are already vulnerable in society, including the elderly and those with limited mobility, would be at risk of serious health issues or even death. As time stretched on without electricity, it would become clear that things would not return to normal anytime soon. In the first few days, people would hold on to hope, believing the outage was just temporary. But as that hope began to fade, the mood would turn darker. People might begin to panic or even resort to desperate measures as their access to food, water, and medicine dwindles. The systems that were put in place to keep societies functioning would start to collapse one by one. With no power to manage them, water treatment plants would stop working communication would be cut off, and hospitals would quickly become overwhelmed with patients unable to receive proper care. People would have to adapt, but the clock would be ticking and the sense of chaos would continue to build. As the days turn into weeks, the true consequences of a world without electricity would become even more apparent.